had a squad, a monster squad. Right. So, man, we we played our hardest game, man. We was up 6 nothing. We wanted to beat this team. They ran a sweep, man. And the damn tight end, he blocked me, right? And uh-huh. it's like, it's like he had eight arms, Chief. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like he had eight arms. I could I couldn't get off him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he was holding me, but nobody wanted to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he turned me, you know, like he was Rob Gronkowski. You know what I'm saying? And he, when he blocked me, he turned me, he turned me uh, inside. Right. Where, so the running back went outside, and then all I seen was his back, and the doing people in the stands, they lost their damn mind, you know what I'm saying? Because, oh, man, because all, all I seen was his back. It was just me, him, and that, that cheating-ass tight end blocking me. He was holding me. You know right. what I'm saying? So we end up losing the game, right? We end up losing the game, right? Nobody ain't talking to me on the sideline. You know what I'm saying? The coach wouldn't look at me. You know what I'm saying? The coach wouldn't look at me. So you know how you you feel something in the air. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? You don't know what it is, but right. you know it's something in the air. Nobody would look at me, man. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't shower after the game because when we were, we were we was on the road. So we get right. on, we get on the bus right after the game. We'll shower when we get back to our arm um, school. Right. So I walk toward the bus. And you know how when you walk toward the bus, you can see people looking at you on the uh-huh. bus. It's like the whole damn bus was looking at me, <laughs> and they was crying, chief. Chief, they was crying. Now you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're looking at me like that motherfucker right there, because. The guy named Andre Gillum. He, he was an old rebel rouser. Uh-huh. Andre Gillum, he had everybody all fired up and shit like, that motherfucker, Warren White, he motherfucker missed that block. I ain't never like his ass no way. Blah, blah, blah. You know, we thought he was fucking better than everybody. So, I saw the damn look on everybody's face. Chief, I put my motherfucking helmet on. You know <laughs> I put my helmet on, Chief. This guy calling me again. Damn. Hold on, Chief, man. This guy calling me. Hold on, man. All right. <laughs> I got to hear this part right here. Oh, she said, uh, but the show that might be ranked number one all time was when Jersey had microwave grandma, Eunice, uh, Sluggo, Ruff, 334 at his house, and, jung- and Jungle Ninja, uh, let me see, and Jungle Ninja Lawyer. Ninja, Buster, and Mandy O all called in. It was classic. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a classic day because Jungle Ninja and um, uh, a Lawyer and then um, Buster and Mandy O all called in. Um, cause, yeah, that's, that, I remember that show, man. That was a that was a classic-ass show. Yeah. Right, I'm back, Chief. I'm back, Chief. All right, go ahead, man. So, man, uh, I put my helmet on because I knew something was about to go down. You know, and usually, you know, we don't waste no time. We, usually, we don't waste no time, right? So we, everybody goes on the activity bus, and we'll go home. But it seemed like none of the coaches was around. You know what I'm saying? And uh-huh. so I got on the school bus, and it was quiet. You know, half half the guys was crying. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they parted like the Red Sea. They ain't say nothing to me when I was on the school bus because they attacked me. I could have just get off the school bus, you know what I'm saying? But they they waited too. I got halfway. They waited. Till I got halfway in the damn school bus, chief. And then man, it was on, man. This motherfucker, they jumped me, man, chief. They Damn. jumped me, man. Hey, man. All I all I felt was elbows, knuckles, and did that and other, man. Hey, I connected with a few chins, need a few throats. I was getting it, I was getting it, um, but I was giving it too. I was like, I ain't going out in no chump, man. These motherfuckers, man, the whole damn team jumping on me. I was like, where my damn boys at? You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, the whole damn team jumping on me, man. I was like, where the fuck the damn coach at? It's like, it was a motherfucker, about an hour, man, we going at it. You know what wow. I'm saying? I was cut up. I was cut up, man. Even though I had my helmet on, man, I, I was taking some blows. <laughs> <laughs> God damn man. Hey, man, I'll take I'll take some blows, Chief. You know what I'm saying? I got hit I got hit so hard one time.
time, chief. My damn knees buckle. You know what I'm saying? My knees buckle. <laughs> Hey, I'm about 18. They were so fucking vicious. My knees buckled, and the motherfucker put Somebody said, hold him up. <laughs> Damn. I was about to go on the chief, so they said, hold him up. So, oh, they think I'm some bitch. They yeah. think I'm some bitch, man. So, hey, man, I, I went goddamn Bronx style, man. I, I went Bronx style, man. We started going at it, man. I mean, I was motherfucking going for throats, you know what I'm saying? I was motherfucking point, poking my finger, I was trying to kill somebody, you know what I'm saying? Cause if they ain't ever say, hold them up, you know what I'm saying? I probably would have took an L, took, got my ass beat, but they'll like, hold them up like he about to go, but don't, 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 him, don't go, let him go too fast. Punish right, him. right, uh, uh, you know uh Mochi Mo said, damn jungle, take the helmet off and swing that shit. Shit, man, well, you don't Shit, swing that, but the small ass school buses, boy, you took the hell off, you probably had it not on your head. Man, I'd have been night night. It'd have been night night, man. It'd have been night night. Because, you know, they, they wanted to hit me in my temple, you know what I'm saying? I think you put somebody to sleep, hit them in the temple. So they could only hit me in my face mask, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't taking no blows, so I was taking really good body blows, you know what I'm saying? They only hit my helmet, you know what I'm saying? They hit, me, hit the back of my head. That's when my knees buckle, and somebody said, hold them up. When they said, hold them up, they think I'm a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I just started wilding, man. And the goddamn coach finally broke it up and shit, man. And uh, he said, we're supposed to be a damn team. Y'all sitting there fighting amongst each other. We all up. Bop, 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 man. And uh, shit, man. Not knowing that he's the one that called for you to get the ass whooping. And so he going to yeah, come yeah, in he, and yeah. clean it up. <laughs> he going to take his time. He going to take his time getting to the bus, man. He's like, damn white. Because he told me, you know, he, he was teaching practice. And white, they run this play right here. You forced to the inside. You know what I'm saying? We ran the goddamn play in practice. You know what I'm saying? You forced to the inside. But, man, the motherfucking tight end had other ideas, man. That motherfucker, he pushed me to the outside. That boy got that corner, man. He was so fast, man. Shit. I think he ended up going to Appalachian State. You know what, what? I'm saying? He went to Appalachian State and shit, man. But motherfucking shit. He won the damn game, man. We went hey. at it, but hey. Hey. Man, I, I got, I'm going to play devil advocate on that one. But uh, we got Miss Tori Lee in the house, Ed Squad affiliate. Tori Lee had a show this morning. And whatnot. Uh, she had a good show. Um, I heard. I didn't get a chance to listen to it, but she had a show on last night too. So Tori Lee uh, have two shows that she uh, have coming on. Um, I gotta look up the name and see what they are. I'm sorry about that, but um, I definitely put that out there. But uh, I gonna play devil advocate on this, right? Now, if you know that the game is tight like that and it's close, right? And you know you got outside responsibility. Why you just ain't run to the sideline by the line and let the motherfucker cut in early <laughs> instead of taking that tight end on? Why you just didn't run to the sideline so he see you out there, he'll cut in before he get close to that shit, you know what I'm saying, instead of going against the tight end? You know, because I know what you did. You tried to be tough as hell and try to play on the tight end outside shoulder, but he beat you to the draw and he grabbed you where you couldn't get loose. Cause I know them tight ends, man. Them motherfuckers will do that shit, man. It's just that you just got caught in the wrong situation, man. <laughs> you know how? What, what, if, if you took a, if I had a bill tape of that game, you would have seen me reaching one hand out to a running back. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But the tight end was holding me. Right. You know what I'm saying? The tight end was holding me. You know what I'm saying? And you know we had an all black um, referee squad. You know right. what I'm saying? And I, basically, I was playing for the white school. You know, we, you know, we got bust out to that school, and the game was at West Charlotte. You saw West Charlotte had home cooking. You know what I'm saying? The referees wanted them. Uh, re referees ain't stupid. If West Charlotte didn't win that game, it might have been a riot and shit. That place was damn packed. You know what I'm right. saying? So if you look at it, you saw me reach for him, but I couldn't reach him because the tight end had my damn um had me in his grasp. You know what I'm saying, but I should I, I should have sailed out. I should I should I should have took the tight end out. You know what I'm saying. So we both would have made the tackle. Basically, they wanted me to be Superman on that play. You know right. what I'm saying. I supposed to take the tight end out. You know what I'm saying. Maybe he would have ran into the running back. You know what I'm saying. Or he would have slowed the running back down. They said it was my fault for even letting the tight end put hands on me. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, wow. that's what it is, man. 
Wow. It is what it is, man. We lost a big time game, man. And you know what I'm saying? So we had to battle. But I tell you one right thing thing. I tell you one thing right there, Chief. When uh-huh. we got back to the showers, ain't nobody fuck with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't nobody fuck with me. <laughs> so what was the difference between the shower and, and I know the bus was kinda small. Uh the shower. You figure they would probably try to get you a, sh- uh, a blanket party in the shower and, and, and wet you, get your heads all drowned up in there. See, t- see what, what it is, Chief, you know what I'm saying? It was about three or four motherfuckers. Uh, it was about three or four guys who instigated the stuff. You okay. know what I'm saying? So right. when we was going at it, I was closer to them, and they took some, they took some blows, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They took some blows, too. You know what I'm saying? So... Hey, I took some of that vinegar out of them. You know what I'm saying? They came back at me in the shower. They had to take some more arm uh, hits. They probably right. would have got. They probably would have bodied me. You know what I'm saying? But they knew I wasn't going out. I wasn't gonna be an easy mark. You right. know what I'm saying? If if eight came after me, I was gonna take two or three down with me, and none of them wanted to volunteer to be that two or three. You know okay. What I'm so they said, you know, we ain't mess, we ain't mess with old boy. It's, we live ways, man. Gee, I was best shape of my life, man. They want coming at me. I like Wolverine. You know what I'm saying? I like Wolverine, man. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. for real, man. Yeah. Uh, Slugo said, Jungle know he took the wrong angle. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did, because he, he, he got his hands on me. Yeah. He, I, I, I should have I took him out. You know what? I take him out. I can, I can picture that right now. You probably like, oh, shit. <laughs> and running back, get ready, turn that damn corner, and you out there reaching like you octagon or something, and you ain't getting shit on them, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, yeah, and, you know things like that happen, man. We all blew some type of coverage, you know, coming up in ball, man. You know, and uh, everybody look at you crazy, man. I remember in baseball, man. You know, instead of me, bases loaded, man. We need to score just. Uh, Two runs to win the game, man. Bases loaded, man. You know, I've been hitting the ball all year, and, uh, and I'm sitting up there looking for a goddamn walk, man. <laughs> the pitcher had three and all on me, knowing that he got to throw some good juice pitches. I'm sitting up there looking for a walk instead of swinging the damn bat. This motherfucker threw two curveballs that went in, and then he got me with the goddamn fastball up high, and I'm swinging like a motherfucking fool trying to walk and shit and and took two strikes and then struck out with a high pitch the ball I should have took you know so we all we all went through times and shit man you know what I'm saying but uh yeah man you know this is um the number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern on the recap Tuesday um I have Jungle Brother on here today is um me him the microwave anybody that started podcast with us this is our anniversary and um, Jungle Brother just got hung up on. I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we were just reminiscing about the times back in the days and whatnot. But uh, at the at the me <laughs> in between time and the meantime, um, I, I need to get the microwave on the phone. You know, uh, I know he probably had to lay his head down. But he told me he definitely wanted to get on here and say something. So I'm going to see if microwave home or up. <clears throat> you know how that, you know that, that gardener, that gardener even to uh, take you to another level. Please leave your message for... Uh, I guess microwave is knocked out. But anyway, um, <clears throat> we back. Yeah, this is um, three years for, uh, you know, me, microwave, the jungle brother, um, Vince Wright. You know, everybody, Kesey, kicking with Kesey, he got three years in too. Because matter of fact, I think, I think Kesey started uh, a little before us. Call it. What's your name? What you calling for? What you want to talk about? Yo, Chief. What up, man? It's Trey. What up? 
What's going on, Trey? How you doing, my brother? Hey, man, I'm blessed, man. I can't.